Hi guys, it's Katya here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing another top 10 favorites in October. We are gonna be starting off with Anterium Magnificum, which is this boy here. This was actually sold as Anterium Magnificum Silver from Equigenera and I've had this plant for honestly quite a long time. It recently got repot into a bigger pot because that was way overdue and you, and you can probably see that there are already new roots forming so it is happy. These are the biggest two leaves, this is the latest and as you can probably tell it is pushing out a new and fresh leaf and oh my god, it looks so good. I cannot wait for this one to harden just because the petiole looks thicker than the previous one as well. Super stoked. Would love to have this one flowering at one point. Another bigger plant that amazed me is this Anterium Forgetii. I think it's a green form. I can't say for sure. These are the previous leaves which are getting some crispiness here and there, but that's okay. They are quite old, I think. This is the leaf that I got the plant with. It was still unfurling. It was still growing in my condition. And this is the newest one. I mean, behold, this is huge and shiny and dark and bubbly and amazing. I'm so happy that I got like as close as a replica to classical green forgetii just because mine rotted. It is pushing out a new leaf. And it's also working out on another inflow. I did try to pollinate the previous inflow with Luxurians. It did take, but then it aborted. I think I'm gonna try a different one for this. I don't have any Lux plant because I've used it on my other Forgetia, so... <laughs> fingers crossed, man, fingers crossed. I could just simply cross the Forgetia. Oh, that'd be nice. It hasn't grown much roots, but it's pushing a lot of aerial roots that should grow back into the soil pretty soon. If you're ever in doubt to get a Forgetia, the answer is always yes. Definitely get a Forgetia. Next one, shall we move to the puppy train? Let me introduce you to a puppy hybrid of unknown heritage. This is the previous leaf and as you can see it is pushing out a new leaf and this boy has the most amazing chocolateish, reddish new leaves and it's still not done hardening and it's just, it blew me away when I saw it. I was like, it's in due to be reported as most of my plants are but it's 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 such a nice plant like i got so lucky i bought this as a magnificum x for like 20 euros 25 euros if it was only a mere magnificum that would have been overpriced but for a while i got mm, good goodbye goodbye and then a plant from the same seller but different batch i think which was sold to me as pop x so I've, I've actually propagated this one and I do have a video if you want to see how I did it. Like it's a really nice form of puppy. It's kind of like a little bit more subtle, nothing too extreme, but I do really like it. This is the newest leaf, which I think it's still hardening. It's still fairly small. It could end up hardening a little bit smaller just because I have propagated it. But given the state that the roots are in, I don't think it has much of problems anyways. Yet another puppy. This is Puppy X Crystal that I've grown from this. I think this was the first leaf. And this is a previous leaf, which is really big and nice. And I cannot wait to see this one mature. As you can see, it is pushing out a new leaf with a hell long petiole. I don't know why it has enough light. It's still hardening and the colors on this one are so nice. I mean, just puppy hybrid leaves are... Mm. Good stuff, definitely good stuff. Now we're done with the puppies. Another unique plant that I have is this, no idea. It's gotten fairly big, honestly, and I could probably also propagate it. It does have a fairly long stem and I have recently repotted it, but it probably could use another repotting. Anyhow, this is such an interesting specimen. I don't know what this plant is. It's really unique. It has very long leaves and it gets this really nice lobes. This is actually the newest leaf. It ended up being slightly smaller than the previous one, but that's okay. It's such a nice plant. Like, I'm so glad that I get to grow this one. I have not seen 
any like it, like it's not your classical bullet house. Then we have a special Magnificum. This one is allegedly Magnificum Mehani, as it is called. I think this is like a specific cultivar that was made in Indonesia. Anyhow, let me tell you its characteristics. So it has like really bluish shin, which is amazing. And the veins tend to have a little bit of reddish hue, especially when they are new and emerging leaves. This is the first leaf from the propagation, so I'm really happy. It does have four ridges on the petiole and the venation is slightly silver, but it's really nice. It has, ooh, has a lot of nice and juicy roots, which probably should be repotted, but it's gonna stay in here for a little while. Next on is a plant that has finally and successfully rehabbed. This is an interior luxuriance. Had a root rot situation going on, which basically left it without any roots. And here we are. So this is the first leaf that it pushed out after it somewhat rehabbed. And this is the second one. Katya was here. I know like, it's so shiny and it's still soft so it's not fully hardened yet and I cannot wait for this guy to pick up in size. I really love luxuriance and this was a gift. I've made it my mission to grow this one out and not get any other luxuriance. Their prices have significantly dropped recently so I could just snatch like a medium one for 100 euros but I'm growing this one out. It has a special place in my heart. And then another special one is Anterium Forgetii X sexy as we call it. It's a Forgetii crossed with a really pretty, what I think it is, some sort of Magnificum hybrid. Seedlings have turned out quite different. You have the ones that look like classical Forgetti with a little bit different venation. I think most have started to get closed sinus, if not it's semi-closed. And here is mine, which I really like. It's really dark and the venation. It still has kept that magnetic combination, but in a Forgetii form, and it is pushing out a new leaf, which seems to have a little bit more of an open sinus, because this one is almost fully fused, but this one still has lobes. Again, cannot wait to see what will it grow into. And then the last one is my precious babies. These are Crystallinum X Luxurians, and you can see they've made their first leaves, and I'm so happy for them. It's interesting because even at such small age you can see some that just have more of a luxuriance shape and I know that if any ceiling that's crossed with luxuriance, if it takes more of a luxuriance it will kind of have more bluish sheen to it, which I'm hoping some of these will do, but they definitely look a little bit different than your classical. I think a little bit more darker. I do have one more jar of these that are germinating. Some are starting their first leaves and some are still germinating. I didn't get that many of these. I did give half to my friend because he donated the pollen and it's the only logical thing to do. So yeah, that was October's top 10 favorite plants. Let me know if you like any of these specifically. And if you enjoyed, please give it a like and hit the notification button and I'll see you next time. Bye!